You know, I'm reminded of a story and I, I've previously shared this story, but sometimes you find that it's new, um, someone new is watching, you want to hear this. Like there is this lady who met this man, she's a Christian lady, so she shared the testimony on how she met her husband. So she met this man at first and there was a Christian and all, but things didn't work out in their relationship. So they broke up and that, that breakup devastated her. I remember her saying she, she had started to even drink. But then some time later, maybe, I don't know if it took years or so, but it took some time. At a time when she had just told herself that she will no longer be entertaining any man. She wants the, the entire all for the next coming month. She wants to dedicate unto the Lord. Then that's when that man came back into her life. And for, as much as she didn't want to give it a shot, her friend encouraged her that perhaps this is the time for God to give you your kingdom marriage. Your time right now, you feel like it's time that you dedicate unto God. But in his calendar, I found that the Lord wants you to now get married and the very same man whom they broke up some time ago that's when she gave it a shot and, it, and the second time around it became real and they got married they have kids even to this very day let me tell you there is such a thing of meeting the right partner at the wrong time that's why it is important to pray about it that's why it's important that don't always when people have wronged you because the devil can get in the way and make you to be discouraged just like that lady, there was a situation where she felt like she was honoring God. Little did she know that the enemy was using that to his advantage and make her say like, ah, don't say yes because it's a time for God so that she could miss out. He makes you do what is right, but he knows that it is not the right, it's not the right time. He's distracting you and encouraging, yes, pray more, pray more, knowing that now you are praying out of your own flesh, out of your own will, not out of the will of the Lord. So listen, before you can reject someone back, I'm not saying don't just take back exes, but it is important to also pray about it and see the real reason why you're saying no, why you can't take them back. Because yes, yeah, some people, they are just coming back to mess up your life more. But there are those that you, it was the right person, just that you met at the wrong time. That's why in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I just want to pray for anyone who has met the right spouse at the wrong time. When the time comes, may you be able to recognize that now it is time for a kingdom marriage. And one of the major signs here, I'm just getting a confirmation, is like you will see that the person will be intending to get married with you. They will no longer want to play. They already know you. So it won't be anything like that, what happened previously. Let it be so, I pray for you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. And I'm Ishmael. And that's all I had. I will see you next time.